date, please. Will there be Wi-Fi? You. Yes. No. Go. Five. Oh my. Hello viewers, it's Mel Loves Movies here, and today we, as you saw by the thumbnail, well, title intro video thingy, today we're going to be talking about my top 10 most relatable characters, basically characters I really like from movies and TV, but anyway, let's get started. And if you're wondering what the intro was, it was just basically me pointing out that I picked a habit up from the 11th. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but just go with the flow. Anyway, as I said, let's get started. I need to control myself my craziness sometimes. Number 10. Newt Scamander. Okay. So, I find him really relatable and empathetic. Because of, um, well, how he struggles to fit into society sometimes. Throughout Fantastic Beasts, you can see he has a clumsy, awkward tone walking around the street. And doesn't really understand muggle society. Thing is, I know how he feels. I don't understand the complicated thing, well, actions of society sometimes. Yes, I do have friends, but some people, I don't understand their attitudes or how they act. So, the world just confuses me sometimes, and I feel like I'm a completely strange baby who doesn't know their surroundings yet. <laughs> okay, anyway. And also, he's kind of cute. For goodness sake, I need to stop. On Number nine, Harry Potter. I know what you're thinking. Claire! Why are you putting mainly Harry Potter characters on yours? Believe me, Newt and Harry are the only two on Harry Potter characters on this list. Even though Newt is not fantastic. But they're in the Harry Potter movie, so. Well, the reason why I can relate to Harry is because of his treatment of the Dursleys. Not as much of that, but like being able to cope with that much like meaningless and you know relation with bullies and stuff, and not liking bullies. I don't like him either. And also, I've been through rough experiences with him, and I've had to, and for some reason. If Harry managed, managed to live with his early for 11 years, and I managed to cope with being treated differently for uh, nearly, all, nearly all my life, so... Yeah, it's pretty relatable the tough experiences you can go through. But, in the end, they make you a better person. Number 8. Bill Pop. Now, in Doctor Who, there are a lot of companions, and some New Who companions have been absolutely in it. Probably within the time. I will be making a video on Bill soon on how I think she might might be becoming the new Clara. Hopefully not. And also, um, I think she just, well, let's go to the reason. I think she's just, you know, like, relatable, like, she has like really cool reactions because when we're watching Doctor Who, we think all this stuff is cool and amazing and we're questioning, geeking out and Bill just seems that like amazingness and geekiness and there's like wondrous reactions he has. And I find them really relatable because some reactions I are really totally just to mind like really like Bill. I just find her really relatable in the experience and journey she's going through in Doctor 
Number seven, Judy Hopps. I find her really, you know, relatable. I love the movie last year. And also it's because, you know, dream and ambition. And I really um, want to be a singer, actress, director, and all that. I do want to get into industry and, you know, be a few star and use my talent. So, yeah. And the urge she pushes to follow her dream. It's like the determination to get your dream. She gets hers, but we don't know if I get mine. But still, I find her a label on that urge. I like characters that have that urge to push on their dream. Because I do get their dream successful. Because so do I. Number six. Vita. Sorry, I'm trying to rush. The video is getting, you know, long. I'm sorry I'm making long videos. But anyway. I like Rosita because of her will to sing, and someone tells her she doesn't have a good enough voice, but she still finds that she does have a good enough voice, and she uses her talent. Like, I could put all the characters of Sing on this list. They were all so relatable. I do like singing characters, and you know I love singing, but I still want to sing on this Because... Anyway, yeah. I really like her. Number five. Sorry, uh, the video is getting on and on, but the video feels relatable because feeling like an outcast sometimes. And I really admire the struggle to fit in with the other giants, but he still lives with it. So do I. I have to live with it sometimes, and it's just a sense, and it just. The story warms your heart with life and makes you feel sorry for him. But he's relatable. Sorry about that, busy stuff, and I'm watching programs, so we have to go into my bedroom. Ah, just like the old days. Um, welcome to my Doctor Who review. Well, we are currently filming in my bedroom. Aww, I do sound cute, don't I? Don't be vain! Anyway, let's talk about the other Doctor. So, if you haven't seen my top five reasons why I love Doctor is my favourite, I will link that in the description, people. You must watch it, because it explains why I really do like him, and how I find him relatable. I just find him relatable because he's like, really acts like me, and we've got a quite a similar personality. That's all I've got to say. If you want to find out more why I, why... I find the lump stocks relatable. Cl the video is in the description. Go watch it. Again, it's just, you know, I really think Tiana's relatable because of her ambition and willing to follow her dad's route. I'm not following my dad's route, it's kind of my own dream, but music and drama and stuff have run throughout my family, so, yeah, I just, like, even when I was younger, I did a weird video that wasn't uploaded to YouTube, so I will never show it, I did these, like, weird music videos with pictures and lip syncing, I do not want to show it, but that's how much I admired Tiana, like, when that movie came out, I just thought, wow, she's relatable, if she could follow my dream, if she follows her dream, so could I. So I find her an inspiration, like, of how she worked hard, and that working hard helped her pay off and, you know, get a dream come true. Disney motto, dreams do come true. Sadly, not in real life. Sometimes. You may have noticed that I've stopped using audio, but who cares, it's accidentally because I'm pushing on time and I've just realized that this is going to be really long. Stop making long videos, Claire and Ronnie. But I like Mia because you should check out La La Land. It's a good movie. It's like a priceless one and it's really sad and emotional. Okay, so basically. <clears throat> I find Mia relatable because of her, like, passion to be an actress. I tell you, I like people who have, like, passions and dreams and stuff. 
and it's like I really like her passion. She goes throughout a struggle to get a dream, but then eventually, one day she just waits and waits and patiently waits till it comes true. And I just find it relevant because I'm patiently waiting for the moment to build up myself so I can get my dream come true. And she's, I love, I just find her so relatable in the situation she faces in the movie. And she's a horrible boss in the cafe, no offense. Like, I can boy just, you know, working for horrible people. Not working, but you know, seeing following people around. Wow, sorry this is super long. <sighs> I ran for too much. Anyway, here are some honorable, honorable men honorable mentions before we get to before we get to um the number one spot. <sighs> well I have filmed my outro already so the file be back downstairs but for now anyway off oh, track <laughs> you all saw it coming especially people who know me I find Belle like the most relatable character ever and that and before I and it, it shows it better in the rebooted version of Beauty and the Beast but the way people treat her sometimes, I just find her relatable in the sense of like how she gets treated, she wants to vent her, you know, she's fed up with this life and the way she has to cope with it, everything. I find her life before ending up, you know, with the being similar to mine, even though I have a half happiness in my life, like full of that happiness. Like a quarter of it is ruined by people being people who are mean stuff. I I love her character and everything. I also like to in the sense that she's kind, gentle, and sweet. We're not book lovers, but who cares? I just still find this super relatable. Relatable. Like when it this movie first came out, I watched it four times. I found it that much relatable. Anyway, cue the outro. So, that was my top 10 most relatable characters. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye!